So for today, we're going to be looking at the Controverse Hold. This got asked for, and it's funny because I've actually already made a video for the Controverse Hold. But I'm going to make a quick one just in case you didn't know that I made a video for it. And because it did get an ornament, which I have made a video for that one as well. But I decided to just combine both of those videos into one, which is this one right here. So if you guys do appreciate it, I would appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, because it really does help the channel because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub really does help and motivates me to make more content for y'all. Because if you guys don't know, I have, I'm have i going to start pumping out more content for y'all uh, because this is the second to last exotic video that I'm making currently until I see more people comment. And if you already commented one in a previous video, don't worry. It's just that I'm getting all of the, the ones up until feedback fence in one go. So that way I can just push them out as fast as I can. So once feedback fence comes out, then you'll start seeing the new ones coming out. So again, just be aware that I'm not ignoring you. If you already, if you ask for one now, just be aware that, uh, you'll I'll, I'll tell you i don't know why i'm saying this i'll tell you so yeah let me know what you guys think and let's just get into it so controversy hold uh the exotic perk is called chaotic exchanger resist incoming damage while charging your void grenade charged void grenades return gr grenade energy on hit this is a really good exotic it's like an s tier for most warlocks which is not even i wouldn't even fight them on that because it, it is really good uh as for it, how, how it actually looks, it's unfortunate because I'm in the like fence of like, it looks cool. It's just that there's so many problems with it. Uh, first, the purple doesn't change color on the left arm. It's not never going to change color. So you're stuck with purple. The like the uh, like the, the uh, boards, I forget what they're called, but the green boards on, on the arms don't change color as well. So you're going to be stuck with that color as well. Um, yeah, as for how it shaders, since we're talking about colors, nothing really too crazy. I mean, you'll see that it actually takes shaders really well. It's just that the purple glow doesn't change color and the circuit boards on the arms don't change color as well. So just be aware of that. Um, I do think that my favorite shader for it would probably be like, I want to say Amethyst Veil, just because Amethyst Veil is such a good purple, but the glow is not a good pur uh, purple glow for it. So just since since I talked about Amethyst Veil, let's just look at the example set real quick. Amethyst Veil uh, is the shader we're using because I really do like the whole color as a whole. Just be aware that the glow is not the same as the glow on the arm. Although people might say I'm just being super picky, but the glow on the helmet is a different shade of, I wouldn't even say purple because the shade is pink to me for me. So I would just say the helmet's pink and the arm is actually just purple. So. If you do want to find a better purple, purple, be my guess. I mean, by all means, do it because you won't regret it. Just that's I, this is what I'm just telling you for personal. For the helmet, we're using the Pathfinder's helmet because it's electrical. For the chest piece, we're using the Deep Stone Crypt chest piece because again, electrical. Same thing with the interlaced boots, and same thing with the Thorian Holt Bond. This is, I think, the set that I made for the Controverse Hold video, which I made. Which if you do want to see, I will have it in the in the description and right now because some people might just be interested in watching that one and then coming back to this one. I haven't really changed much with this uh, exotic because quite honestly, there's not a lot of electrical stuff you could be doing. Uh, as you guys can see right now, this is how my warlock should be looking. You could probably do like other stuff like this. But again, the circuit boards for me just really, really hone into like oh this doesn't look electrical so it's just gonna look weird but again you can probably do something like this one although the white will uh be annoying for some people specifically myself i won't i won't like it because of that but like something like this would be interesting if you had like an electrical helmet so like for example this would probably be interesting so that way so that way you could even it out but again there's so many things you can do with this chess piece that i am just giving you the best one which is this right here if you are interested in another set then i probably would tell you that the other one this one right here with the this one right here i think this is the other set that i made for that video i think this is also a really cool one if you're looking for a specific purple for those of you who are here for season of the forge then you guys will know Berguzi and i it's a really good purple so 
that's pretty much it. We're gonna have to talk a lot about these sets because I've made videos on this. These are gonna be short videos, guys. Or this one is gonna be a short video. So let me know what you guys think. But the next one is gonna be the ornament, the actual ornament itself, the grasp of the void. And this one, I made a video for this video. If you guys wanna see it, because I do go in a little bit more depth with it because I do like this uh, ornament a lot. But for the helmet, we're using the Apilos following hood. For the chest piece, we're using the Chasm of Yul. For the boots, we're using the Corrupting Echo boots. And for the bond, we're actually using the Bond of uh, Reciprocity because uh the point the pointiness of it overall this is like probably the role i would use or probably the set that i would use for the grasp of the void because the argent territory shader the glow specifically on the arms look really good with the skull i think both of those look super super cool and that's really why i, I went with this look so this is kind of a variation of what i did for the other video but it's kind of in the same theme because it is a uh, hive themed, I guess you would say, even though the corrupting echo stuff is more thorn themed. But I mean, at that point, you're you're just grasping at straws. It, it literally is just uh, hive themed for me. So Warlocks, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, I'm not going to talk too much about these because I did make separate videos on it, but I at least wanted to show you guys at least an armor set for each of the, of the pieces. So that way you guys can know. And if you are curious, you can guys, you guys can go to the other videos. So thank you guys for coming to this point. Uh, be safe. Remember, comment, like, sub. If you guys want to see a certain exotic, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely get started on it. But other than that, I will see you guys later.